This is just not a box with two speakers in it. No. After putting the base radiator in, on the inside, I have to make a tube that goes up to around this high. So it's going to be standing up around this high, almost as tall as the speakers. So the tubing in there will go right around. So it'll look like this. 
So the tubing goes right around, glued right around the base radiator, the circle part inside there. I, I, I first make a, a tube and I glue it all the way around the entire base radiator. So it's, now you got a tube inside a box. And at the end of it, you got your base radiator. So here's the tube. It can't go all the way up or the speakers won't fit in when I set them in. So it goes up to about right here. And then I have to cover the rest of the inside of the box. So that when you look at it, um, if you were to take this cap off this box, you would see a tube and a box within a box. That is how it's done. Or else, if you were to just get these speakers, toss them into this box. With this radiator, it won't do anything. It will not move. It'll move, but maybe very little, even on full blast. Um, yeah, so it won't move on you, so you're going to have to make that tube, like the way I said. So there's a tube inside of here, and in that tube, so after you have your tube here, you would then start to cover everything else that's a hole around it, just leaving the tube alone. So when you put your speakers in, the base goes down the tube and hits this base radiator. If you leave the base to spread throughout the box, that's exactly what it'll do. And it will not hit the base radiator unless it's a very powerful speaker. But I'm just using two little 10 watt speakers. So, uh, yeah. You're going to need to make that tubing on the inside and then the box around the tubing so that it's like a so that it's more solid so that only the air goes to the base radiator only not on the corners of the box so it's basically it's just a tube inside there a small tube it's about as big as this base radiator just in there it's around this big and then like I said, so after I put the tube in, then I put the box, I glue it to the box. So then when I'm done, it looks like a box. It looks like a hole. Well, there's kind of hard to explain. But either way, you're going to have to design it like that, something like that. I've been messing around with these for not very long, you know small bit of time and as I design them they will not use the base radiator correctly if I do not do what I said and that's make the tubing different so I just thought I'd share that with you guys uh, I'll be probably screwing around with this a little more and make it different or something so uh, thanks a lot guys for watching I'll have some more videos